Hello, hello, hi. This is another amazing one. I'm so excited. Like, literally, being here is a blessing for us because we get to do so many interviews today. I'm Salipa Maifadi. Kev Magic is in the building, but I'm more excited to announce that Courtney Paul is also <laughs> finally <laughs> in the building. Come on. <laughs> Guys, we have Courtney Paul finally. It's your boy, Kevy Kev, Kevin Mahoney, Kev Magic, mm. rapping Kav Africa. That's right. As always, we okay, bring you the dopest talent in the game right mm. now. A person that's been changing it, killing it, whether yeah. it's music, whether it's dance moves, whether, <laughs> Honestly, whether it's 21. your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> everything, the dog, everything. Yeah, just, everything. Life just looks hmm? nice. Uh, Paul Fatala, Courtney. Hi, Courtney. Thank you so much for agreeing to speaking to us on the Carve Daily Podcast, finally. Amen. Finally. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Firstly, I just want to make it crystal clear that I did avail like myself a few times, mm. hey? I was available. Um, mm. And yeah, I'll leave that at that. I Thank guess, you. <laughs> I guess we were not supposed to do it remotely. There's yeah. something about this physical content that we have today that is going to make the interview even more special. Mm. Well, let's, let's hope so. Yep. Well, I'm boring. You, you know? just landed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I highly doubt that. I mean, you just landed. When did you land? Today? Yesterday. Yesterday. Mm. I mean, this is BC1 yeah. World Final. Yeah. You know, you are South Africa's best B-girl. Mm. You know, what does this mean for you to be performing at the World Final and literally seeing all those other amazing dancers from across the world? Sure. It's, it's hard to put into words, man. It's, it's nothing short of incredible and kind of like a little, not even a little, a massive blessing. Like I was the first African female to ever go to the world final. So mm. that in itself is like, I, I don't know how to put that into words. I'm very well traveled. I've had amazing experiences, but this was just something completely different. Um, mm. And mind blowing in a way that you got to realize that something we take as not a hobby, but we're like, ah, you know, we're doing this thing that side. Ah. Mm. Yeah, boy. It's another life. Like, it's hectic. Like one person has a team of 10. Yo. You know, and you're just there rocking. Yeah, yeah, me, I'm from Sada. <laughs> We've made it across the borders. Yeah, I'm the side. And that side, it's it's not a game. You mm. know, and I think the main thing it did for me was it it unlocked something in my mind. Like, mm. I'm a, I'm going to be a problem now. I'm mm. going to be a, a very big problem now because I've, I got the insight into, like, how they do what they do. They don't run it like... Mm. Like, yeah, we, we like to chill. We like to take, even though we take it seriously, the way we approach things is a little bit different. That's why it's a fully fledged job. Mm. And yes, they've got the, the access, they've got the platforms, they've got the funding and all that, which, you know, I'll mm. find a way, but yeah, no. Mm. The priorities. Are You're true. right, though, because I feel like South Africa has, like, the, I feel like the world is watching us now. Yeah. You know, whatever that starts to trend, whether it's political, whether it's what, music. Good or bad. <laughs> good or bad. People are looking at here at yeah. South Africa first. Because the main issue where creatives we've always had is brands pay us, but we feel like we're not getting paid you know, enough to put, especially for whatever that you do as well. So if you're saying that, you know how you're going to find a way, how are you going to, walk into that office and be like, yo, Give I'm worth shampura. 5 million. <laughs> I'm worth 10. <laughs> hey, man, I think I've always done that. Um, I've never really waited. Like, for example, breaking has now been added into the Olympics. Yeah. So technically, as a South African athlete, that needs to, I need to have the same kind of access as Sia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Yet, that's not the, that's mm. not the reality. I'm a colored female. In itself comes with its own dramatics, right? Mm. Um, so me sitting around waiting for the government to say, yes, we're going to break you off or something. I'm not interested. Um, I think I've always been a, a bit of a corporate baby. Um, and because of the fights I've had to have, I have no issue at all kicking down the door and saying, I need this. Mm. You're either with me or you're not. Yeah. Um, and I think now I'm finally at a place where, look, it hasn't been easy, don't get me wrong. But I think now I'm finally at a place where I'm like, if the answer is no, it's sharp. I'm going to find somebody else. End mm. of story. I, I cannot afford to dwell on like the nose. I can't. Mm. I don't have that kind of time. A brand that recently, yes, is uh, said yes, is yeah. G-Star Raw. And we <laughs> saw you there, honey. <laughs> doing the things, yes. doing the yes. travel. Yes. We also spoke about it. Nah? <laughs> 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 yo, 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 yo. You were doing the most. Tell us a bit about how that came about and, yeah. and, and you know, how uh, how that yes, mm. you know, was properly So actually, I was the one brand. that said yes to them. Mm. You know, so so I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that if you kind of stay true and authentic to your path, yeah. the people that are meant to be there are going to find you regardless yeah. you know yeah. and the no's that I might be chasing and I get that no they're the ones that eventually set me on the right path to find the team I'm supposed to have so mm. with G-Star I think we did our first campaign beginning of the year um, something very small 
They just reached out and said, look, the brand is super interested in what you're doing. Would you be keen? I was like, oh, firstly, I could never afford that brand. Like years ago, I had my first yeah, pair like, of slides. You? Yeah, you know? So I was like, what? Because mm. G-Star is a premium brand. Yeah. To get into a G-Star is like, what are we even saying now? You know? So I went into it with an open mind. I was like, cool, let's rock. Um, very much a once-off campaign. Mm. Like a month or two later, I get the call. We'd love to meet. We have something to present to you. I said, what? Me. Which one is this one? <laughs> sure. So you're that level now. They come to you. You just sit on your couch, watch whatever And TV. you know, funny enough, I was actually sitting on my couch uh, with, my, <laughs> with my puppy on my lap uh, Jeez, in that Zoom, man. And um, yeah, the, the marketing manager presented the idea that they had in terms of the campaign, the people that they were going to put forward, mm. what that campaign would entail. Um, and I loved it because it wasn't just, hey, here's a photo shoot. It was, you're going to be on billboards across the country, every wow. airport, down William Nickel, down here. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, uh, uh, oh, you're like, me. That's right, me. Like, are you sure, lady, because... <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to ask a very you know? weird question. Is sure. there proper royalties, especially if... Everything is lit again. Hey, okay. yeah. Do you want to ask your question again? Yeah. Okay. I don't even remember the question. The way Lord Shading just shook the hell So up. my question was, mm. since they came Also, to... just note that we had an interruption because of Lord <laughs> Shading. I just want everybody to know that. Yes. Please, that hiccup. Uh, ah, we, are ah, we are in South A. We are in South A, guys. We're on brand. Mm -hmm. We're on yeah, brand. Mara, luckily, sports scene has a, has a generator there. So, yeah, here we go. Let's continue. The Get big bags. Do the things. <laughs> <laughs> so my question was, since they came to you, as the like your contract because most people go like they just get money they get to appear on an ad whereby the ad has billboards and everything yeah. but the money was just once off mm. so do you have a royalty check whereby Is after 12 months yeah they do adverts do that no so so the way and i mean it's this is how it's worked my whole career i think mm. like commercially mm. you like the way I, I have done it previously and now is there's a line item for everything that happens mm. and they pay you once off mm. because they're only going to flight it for a certain period of time. If mm. they want to renew, yes, we've got to talk about another check. So there's a check for how long yeah, you'll 100%. be on that billboard. Yeah, even with social media. Mm. I do a lot of social media campaigns and they've got to pay me for usage. Mm. So royalties, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But everything is paid for. Mm. But I feel like it's needed, especially like in our, in our country, because most artists overseas, like you said, mm. the game is different because you've been, you well-traveled. Yeah. You just came back yesterday. Mm. The game is different that side. Because mm. our industry, I feel like it's so big. There's so much content, there's mo so much talent. Mm. And we're worthy of whatever Drake has overseas or a Beyonce and all that. Mm. Because we influence the culture that big. Because right. the reason why I'm asking that question is because I've, you know, I've done adverts before. Mm. Whereby my first major one was an international ad. Mm. And on the contract, the, the advert airs for like 12 months. And then after 12 months, obviously, if it adds longer, the chunk has to come in. Yeah. Yeah. It adds longer, I'm still waiting for my chunk. No, but then you see, <laughs> that's a you see no. That's a problem that that's Courtney's a, manager yeah, no, and her very, people would be handling. I don't have a manager. Mm -hmm. I don't have a team. Like, mm. sometimes you really have to be in the know. It's not to say that I've never been played before. Yeah. It's not to say, once I remember, I went, where was I? I think I was in Kenya. Mm. Kati, I'm walking, I'm like, that is me. Mm. You're like... Uh, that is like it's ad. really you yeah so sometimes you you have to be on top of things i think the first ever ad i did was with the network i choreographed the ad i was in the ad so i had usages for the ad get to cinema ding i'm like ah that wasn't part of it you go back like you you just have to be on top of your stuff mm. so mm. when a brand pays you for 12 months if they are flighting for 12 months that's perfectly fine i can't ask to get paid what drake gets i'm not drake mm. as much as we influence the culture we also have to be realistic i think as south african sometimes <laughs> no i was just giving an example that yeah, yeah, you yeah. Sometimes, you want too much. sometimes yeah sometimes we 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 want to be trendsetters, which is great, but then we we at the cost of doing the work. Yeah. We never want to do the, the the work that it takes to to get a certain paycheck. Mm. You know. So I'm I'm very much about the work. Mm. Um, and all the flashing lights and things can come after. Whether it comes or not, I couldn't care less. Mm. But for me, the work is important. The paperwork is important. Mm. And the rate is important. And you would know that about me. Like yep. I'm very like. She don't believe. Nobody's gonna have. And not even yeah. say I earn the most. No, it's just like nobody's nobody's gonna Doing be checking for you. You have to. So this all comes yourself. from your past experiences. 
because hey, we, you just I've paid school learning. fees my whole life. You know, and I'm probably still gonna pay some mm. school fees. I think as you as you like graduate to different levels, mm. you experience new things. So yeah. I never went to school for like, hey, what do you do if you become a DJ? Hey, yeah, what do you do if you become a B girl that goes overseas? Like nobody teaches you shit, you know? Mm. Can I swear here, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. damn. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, nobody teaches you, you know? And I mm. think as an industry, we're still figuring it out. And the people who do know aren't ever ready to give you the information. Mm. You know, so it takes time, but we'll get there. And, you know, talking about putting in the work, this mm. year, you really came into your being as a DJ. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's crazy because as a B-girl, you did the mostest, mostest. <laughs> then you dropped some music, then that's also doing the most. Then yeah. now, it's like... All, all then you... I got nominated for SA Hip Hop Award you know, for like, DJ of the Year. Man. Thank you. Come on now. Like all your Come I was shocked about that. It, it, I don't it's know just how like that everything just keeps. Yeah. It's like you just keep ticking off and 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 gaining more from the work that you're putting in. You know, um, is is this something that you predicted for 2021? Sure. I would be lying if I said I predicted it. I mean, when we went just before we went into lockdown, I headlined the Met. I was one of the headliners of the Met. I played. Mm. Like so many amazing events, I choreographed the DSTVs. Like I was, I felt like, okay, cool, my time is coming. And then, mm. ding, lockdown, so, like eh, mm. a week before last year's BC one, which I was ready for. So I felt like stuff had been taken away from me almost. But then again, the whole world felt like that. Um, mm. But I would honestly say, the last year, I've never been this busy in my life. And I think it's because I had time in lockdown to kind of go back to zero. And what do I enjoy doing? Was I doing this because I had to for the paycheck or was I doing it because I enjoyed it? Mm. Um, and I would say even the DJing, like only the last two to three years have I actively pursued this thing. Like I was doing residencies on radio this year, I was doing stuff. And even now I get called for the residency and I'm like, no, I don't want to do it because it's not something I'm interested in. Mm. So it's, I think when you see the level up, it's because I'm finding like deeper versions of myself in that thing and mm. I'm no longer looking for the validation if mm. that makes any sense mm. so I think it makes a difference so you basically you secure with 100%. you approve of yourself 100%. and that's the most important for thing for the first well. time in a very long time mm. because if like for me as a, as a like I'm from Durban, a very small, like, Indian and colored community. Mm. I'm colored. I'm gay. It's like, where do I fit into this industry? Can you can you show me another me mm. or anybody that I can follow the footsteps in? Mm. You'll struggle. Mm. Who do I speak to? Yo, breaking has been added into the Olympics. Who do I speak to about that? Nobody, because it's never been done before. Mm. And it's not because I'm this anomaly and this, like, amazing thing that popped out of nowhere. It's just the position that I'm in. And I've just got to figure it out. Like, I, I can either sit back and expect the world to come to me or I can go and figure it out, you know? Um, and for a long time, I was on the outside all the time. And even now, I still am. I'm quite a, like a little black sheep, and now I'm okay with it. And I think that's, that's the, the difference. But I'm sure your, your family is starting to understand. Oh, <laughs> oh, you know, imagine how you want to be a break dancer. How are you going to make money? Dog, my whole life. Imagine, like, so, like, I, know. so I, I remember, I, I also started dancing very late. It was never part of the plan. Mm. You know, most dancers, when they start, yay! Mm. From but they could see I was talented. Me, no. Uh -uh. Like, <laughs> I didn't have those. Moves. I didn't have that thing, you know. Um, and then when I initially started dancing, my family was like, "Nope, this is not gonna. Have, who's gonna pay you for this? We're not gonna pay you for this. Like, can you go study and get a job because this is not working, you know?" Mm. Um, and I remember the first time my mother actually gave me props was when she saw me on Yo TV. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's how you know. So Yo TV has, a, and I'm still actually, With actually, they owe me a royalty check. Yo, because oh. I'm still in the title <laughs> sequence. You, you see? see? Oh, <laughs> conversation. <laughs> so, so they have a title sequence, you know? And you see the Y, O, T, V. So I'm the Y. I'm on my hands and oh. I do a Y. Wow. Still to this day. So I think the first time my grand saw that, they were like, ah, 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 ah Come look on. at our bell, you know? Yes. <laughs> but I can choreograph them on the summers or whatever. And they're like, ah, yeah, yeah, I don't know about this child. Mm -hmm. But Yo, TV, I <laughs> made it. <laughs> Well, at least you still get that stamp of approval you see for now. all the other kids that are going to come through. And, and that is such an amazing thing. How many times do you get young girls coming up to you saying, you know, you're so, you're so much of an inspiration mm. to them because of how brave you are by, by doing a, a, a dance or a sport that not so many people are tapping mm. into? I think, like, a lot. And it's always surprising to me because I... Um, you know, you, nobody wakes up and says, I want to be an inspiration today. Like, <laughs> you know, but yeah. like the craziest thing happened to me when I went to Poland now. Mm -hmm. There's a big girl called Mad Max, mm -hmm. right? And she won the E-Battle. She was in the top, like, world final top 16. And I walk into the doors and she goes, Courtney Paul! 
cool. Wow. And I'm like, what the hell? But obviously, I play it cool. I'm like, hey, hey what's up? Like, uh, she's like, the one. And I'm like, this is this cannot be life. And I think that, for me, was just validation of, I'm not the best breaker in the room. I'm not, like, the biggest superstar in the room. But I think if you, if you, if you have an intention to be, like, super authentic about what you do and connect with people and give a damn about people, mm. I think people see that, you know? Um, and it might not be the most popular thing to do, but that's just how I am. So if I can, like... Aff- not affect, but like do the olive branch in any shape or form yeah. for whoever's trying to do whatever. Mm. Then my like goal is done for the day. What's your goal with the music? That's what I want to know. Like you dropping all these tracks, your Manu will starring out there. <laughs> doing the like most she's doing like, everything. Yeah. And what is going no, on? Like is like there is there an open application for people to come like, join your team? Like. What am I doing? Sure. Just, just get us on. Sure. Like, like I said, the team is one man right now, okay. and my girlfriend that feeds me. Other than that, <laughs> <laughs> other than that, it's one man, you know. Um, but with the music, I think the the main thing is just trying to do it my way. Mm. Again, like DJing is not my bread and butter, so I do. I'm very picky about where I play, how I play. Yeah. Is it right? I like production scale things. I want to be in a festival. I don't want to be in a mm. smoky club every week. I'm not mm. interested. Because I have to wake up tomorrow and go to gym. So, You're <laughs> you are like, no. Like, I have to find the balance. Yes. Um, so for me with the music, I think just making sure that people know like females are actually dope. Not this thing of, ah, every female is a DJ. Stop that shit, guys. Like, mm. actually good at what I do. And I make sure that there's females that are pushing the culture, pushing the craft. Because um, I'll give a lot of guys a run for their money. And yes. I'm so sorry to say that. Come but I on. think everybody's so caught up. The moment they see a female doing anything, it's a gimmick. Yes. The moment they see a female doing, oh, why is she naked? Why is she yeah. doing dance moves? Yes, I was dancing, but I'm also really good at playing, you know? So mm. for me, again, it's just about making sure I'm doing it my way. Um, yeah, do the touring thing when the time is right. Why not? So in terms of touring, like, uh, you going to start locally or are you just going to go overseas and be like, you know what? My I'm passport, already international. My passport's been stamped yeah, out. Yeah, I know she got the Poland <laughs> stamp. I bet she could do a whole lot more. Yeah, so, so that's the other thing, you know? Like, when I find the right team, it's... I travel very easily, so it yeah. would be so easy for someone to be like, where are you next week? Sharp, we're going to make sure you got the gigs while you're there. Mm. You know, so, yes. but again, it's it, I can't expect people to just be able to switch on and get into my mind or into my brand because mm. it's not a brand that we see every day. Yes. It's not the industry standard brand, so it is very hard. Like, so can you sell us sex? No, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm mm. going to come in a tracksuit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You're going like, to like, come in your sneakers. Yeah, I'm like, coming the kicks you. and like, mm. you know what I mean? So it is very tricky and I think, like when you said, oh, you do everything. No. If I was a guy, you'd call me a mogul. Yeah, that's true. But as yeah. a female, you're like, yo, you don't know where you're going. There's no direction here. You do way too much. Mm. But the, you know? the conversation has changed around that. Like, how are you defining what you do? Yeah. Right now, you can be whoever that you want to. Yeah. Mm. You know, you don't have to appear a certain way so that this brand can work with you. Yeah. Mm. So, and that's the message you're putting out there that, guys, I'm just chilling, like you said, on my couch and you just <laughs> called me and all that. <laughs> and I'm doing things my way. Yeah. So, in terms of the music, like you said, you're doing it your way. Mm-hmm. But you still have like a, a goal that you want to reach. Yeah. What's the end goal in regards to the music. your music? Yeah, I think for me, we've never had like a superstar hip hop DJ come out of this country. Mm-hmm. We've got Black Coffee. We had Grace. DJ Dimples. No, out of the that country. Ever reached, oh, out of that the ever country. reached that Black Coffee Black level. Coffee, we've nah. never had it. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. That's what I want for myself. Yeah. Do I think I can get there 100%? Do I think it's going to be easy? No. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, I know that there's a mountain of work ahead of me and I'm okay with that for me I don't I don't do things for like instant gratification Mm -hmm. I've always it's always been the long game for me so it's it's nothing new you know so that's definitely the end game Um, obviously to be able to travel with it more to be able to do like my dream collaborations Mm. um, just have fun with it like I never wanted to come out of a place of desperation Mm. ever Mm. And you know what was crazy? I, I just need for us to talk about Red Bull Dancer Style National Final <laughs> because you've been the DJ and, yeah. and touring with the guys throughout and, and that got you to see uh, I'm just a whole lot Shani of J. crazy <laughs> dance styles yeah. of, of of South Africans and, and what's out there. Mm. Um, when you look at the South African dance culture from that perspective of street dance, mm. what, what popped out for you? Sure, I've, I've said this for the longest time that there's just something about the way South Africans dance. I don't see that anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Even now, like coming back, 
Did you hit them with the Vosho at the... At oh, the 100%. <laughs> I said they will know the Vosho by name here. You know, like, like for me, I think, even like in my previous trips, like they have all the moves. You can see the training, the professional. Mm. But there's just this the, little... My hair all missing. <laughs> that, that little one, I'm missing. <laughs> there's just something about the feeling. Mm. My favorite thing, like even now I'm on a TV show, I'm a mentor on Dance Africa Dance. Mm. It airs in all 52 African countries. It plays in the UK, it plays in the Indian Islands. Mm. And that whole thing, we've got we've got dance crews from around Africa, and mm. they've got to dance to Bollywood music. Wow! Because it's a Bollywood, it's an Indian show. Mm. And the way Africans interpret that music is yeah. incredible. Like, if you like, my favorite thing is when you see those babies, mm. like, and they're dancing in the sand, mm -hmm. and they are killing it. And you're like, where does this baby come from? <laughs> but they are killing it. That's to me what South African dance is. Yeah. That that innate ability to just bring the music alive like mm. i don't see that anywhere else anywhere else mm. well we definitely can't wait for that because the entire world of street dance culture Yay! will be in south africa on the 4th of december and i know you're going to be part of it obviously. i'm the official dj come on for the Red Bull dance come on. Now. Also be <laughs> world, hey, world final, final. Like, i can't wait to incredible. see the mixes that you're going to put together is there a lot that goes into that because oh it's so gosh. unpredictable like you see devs are there dancing Spanzola yeah. and Courtney will just play <laughs> <laughs> Something up. like that's got like a booty hop thing, and you're like, nah, uh, but I feel that's, that's, what, gonna that's, rock that's what makes you. Uh, that's uh, yeah, that's what that show is about. Mm. Yeah, you know the um, versatility of that the, dance the music floor and the that music goes into that, preparing, yeah. or the, the time that goes into preparing the music for this competition is yeah. incredible. Like I said, for two weeks prior, mm. putting a track list together. Actually, I started months ago. So we, because we do online submissions and the nines, mm. and bearing in mind, every time we go live, every time we go to Instagram or whatever, we've got to get licensing for all that music. Yes. So it's a lot of money. Yes. Sometimes we can't even afford the songs that I'm Then you have to drop the track. They're like, they're like ah, we no, cannot we afford cannot. this. You know, so mm -hmm. there's so much that goes into these shows. Yeah. I said for weeks putting a track list together. The night before the competition, I was sitting with the team till I think hoppers one, two o'clock in the morning. Yo. Still serving, just making sure everything feels right. It's mm. about understanding the dancers, understanding the how you want the show to build up, mm. like how the how the audience is going to read it. Like yes. so much goes into that show. So for the world final, I'm hoping that uh, we can afford some really good music. Yeah, and then I can just rock from there. You know? Yeah, and I think also maybe some DJs from around the world that have been DJing those other countries mm. might also be out in SA, and I think that in itself will be something that can also, you know, kind of like enlighten mm. South African DJs of like what other DJs are doing in, in other parts of the world. So yeah. I'm really excited for that. It's going to be amazing. It seems like there's a lot of people traveling down for that. Like every person I met just this week, I'm coming to South Africa in December. I'm like, <laughs> For what? <laughs> and I'm just coming to dance your style. They like, just coming. You, you must yeah. remember the dance culture overseas is very like we travel for dance. End of story. Yeah. And I suppose they can afford it. Um, and it's a very normal thing for them. You know, mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. travel to Poland once. We're doing podcasts. <laughs> we're on the news. <laughs> we're doing the most. <laughs> we're doing the most. Yeah. But for them, it's an everyday thing. You know. So, yeah. amen. It's and be this crazy. was was an, another big one for dance. Is I guess seeing the face of Tebza mm. on a Red Bull can. That was like even as you said, I'm getting goosebumps. That for me was the highlight. Never mind that. Then I get to Cape Town. I'm getting picked up in a car with Tibbs's face come on, on it. I'm like, come I on, mean... man. Like, for, for the local team to have been able to, like, achieve that. Yeah. And it also had a, a dancer from the States. So it wasn't yes, like, Angel. oh, we just, we're just going to create a can just for you guys. Yes, no. no. We created a can. It's a global can. It's, it's insane. Like, And yeah. a Spansula dancer on a can of Red Bull. I Ow. mean, <laughs> who would have thought? <laughs> you know? You know? Levels. I, feel, I feel like we carry so much mm. not only the, the the creative space or the industry yeah i feel like we open doors to other things as well mm -hmm. i mean somebody else that could be in corporate could be for instance dressing you know looking like you mm. not suits and everything yeah yeah the conversation yeah, let's is changing, break the mold. Guys. Mm -mm, that thing of getting into a let's boardroom get the, let's get with the a suit only guys, and me. must be serious <laughs> no. but that's the thing you mm. asked me about g-star like think of that campaign is massive yes you never sat in a boardroom once but look at uh, the fire you know? Yo, yo, yo. So I think things are changing, man, and, and we've got to use that to our advantage, mm. you know? 2022? <laughs> what are you going to be up to? I need a now. Probably fully booked the whole year. <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm a very, like, planned person, so... Yeah. Yeah, the next year is going to be a lot. 
mm. I've got some amazing like features on some new tracks. I think that people Dope. are gonna be like, you're gonna drop an EP? Hell? No, like my first release was an EP. My initial release was a three track EP. Um, yeah. I think it was the first body of work a hip hop DJ has, a female yes. hip hop DJ has dropped. Mm -hmm. um, but I think for now, I'm just gonna have some fun with some singles as I go until I can figure out how to marry everything together. Mm -hmm. um, but again, some amazing features, a lot of traveling. Like PC1 is in New York next year. I'm definitely going out of Nice. Um, I've got Birmingham uh, in the US next year. I've got the UK. I've got some TV shows coming. Like, it's it's going to be a movie. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's okay, so I guess it's 2020, Courtney. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> cool. I'll tell that's you. That's I said she's booked the whole. Like, like she's booked and busy. Hello, and you know what's the crazy movie. thing about the work that I do? You'd never actually know. Yeah, you're like, just like silent moving yeah, there. Yeah, just moving it's, silently. I always say it's about the work, you know? I never want to yeah. be like, oh, we know her. What does she do? Yes. I'm not sure, actually. So basically, COVID... You did know, me a favor. did you a favor <laughs> yeah. and created a beast mm -hmm. of, a, of you know, like your your brain just went like, you know what? As much as I'm doing this, mm. I can still get deals from wherever, make it work, get that paper, build the brand, yeah. and inspire other young people as well. 100%. Doesn't have to be a woman or a man. Whoever that looks up to me is like, mm. I want to be like Courtney Paul. <laughs> I just want to ask for like the Cough Crunch and Cough Cardio Lovers, which is like a wellness segment. Um, I mean, you talk about the gym and to be able to do what you do, like dance the way that you do every single damn day. I'm sure that takes a lot of, of strain on your body. Do you like take, you know, supplements or... <laughs> Are you on a hectic diet? Can no, you can actually, you eat this baroso right yeah, here? Yeah, I do, and that's a problem. <laughs> can you eat this baroso <laughs> <I shouldn't> here? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think I think I've managed to educate myself a little bit better over yeah. the years, but I'm definitely not where I should be in terms of diet. Yo, I'm a mess. <laughs> you know, I've got no self control. I'm like, yo, I'll eat clean the whole day, and then that night I ruin everything. But yeah, my gym schedule is pretty hectic. Yeah. Um, I fight a lot. I think that was my first love before I even started dancing. So yeah, don't miss like as long her. as I'm active, I'm very happy. Mm -hmm. um, dancing also like breaking you take one week off ah, it looks like you're, somebody's granny is trying to break after that <laughs> so you have to be very careful <laughs> but yeah I think I try to take the vitamins whenever I remember again I'm not very good at that um, mm -hmm. but as I'm getting older I'm like hey let me put that reminder at least because you know <laughs> okay if yeah. that's something like, that we should all do just put a reminder put a to reminder. take your vitamins yeah. <laughs> like that's the little you can do yeah. I had it yesterday today I didn't have them you see just, um, that's you why see? I Courtney puts an alarm. <laughs> like, just put that reminder on and you'll be good. Courtney, we really appreciate you taking nah, this time so to much. have a chat with us. We're Finally. gonna wait to, We're gonna Ooh. do this again. We will okay. for real this time. Next time we must do it in 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 the G Star kind of like store, and then you must Ooh, you know, I'm gonna let them get know. dressed Let's for us, show us you the sure? drip, do the most, you know. <laughs> December people are gonna you be buying now. Christmas clothes, you know. You see now, I'm gonna let them know. Let me actually put a reminder. Yes, put a reminder <laughs> for that. Well, thank nah, you so thank much. Thank you so much for having me. Me, I really appreciate it. Oh, finally, next one, appreciate yeah? it. Yes, ladies and gents, that <laughs> we was love Courtney you. Paul. Uh, all the and so much. wow, this is the Cup Daily Podcast, yeah, guys. Legendary we bring things. the magic. I mean, we're not here to play with you. I mean, look at the amount of people that we had on the show today. Like, you it, guys are spoiled. It's just, <laughs> it's just so amazing, and and we really appreciate that you even came out. Clearly, there is something about today's camp that is important for you to say i just got off like mm. a, a, a plane from poland i'm hella tired <laughs> but yeah. you're here mm. so it's either you like things or you really appreciate <laughs> i think you know me well doing. enough to know i don't care about things one bit <laughs> <laughs> you can miss me with the things but i think i think things like this are so important man um unearthing new talent i think south africa as a whole is so talented but we lack the the platform we lack the exposure mm. and you know you talk about exposure ah don't pay me an exposure this is exposure Exposure. Yeah. You gotta know when the exposure is the right exposure, and this is it. So, why would I not show up for something like this? Mm hmm. That's right. Well, you already know where we are. We're doing sports scenes things. Pima's in the building. Audio Mac is in the building. People are like in different studios, busy like creating tracks. Your whooshes and everybody just mingling <laughs> all over the place. Y'all, this is the place to be. I'm Celebrity My Fatty. You know where to get us at Cov underscore Africa and all social media platforms. And thank you so much for listening today. And we out, Kevin with the magic. Thank God. <laughs>